Minister Priyan Kharge, the Minister for IT from the uh, Secretary Mandula. Uh, thank you for this invite. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here to address uh, this gathering. Uh, I will pick up on Sharad's theme of why Bangalore, Karnataka is a fantastic place uh, to be an entrepreneur uh, and specifically a product entrepreneur. And you know, I may differ a little bit on some of the things Sharad said, not, not in terms of it might have a different perspective. I actually think it's a fantastic place because we bring together all kinds of elements that are not available elsewhere and that are kind of ingredients that, that will bring together a huge entrepreneurial ecosystem. One is, yes, we do have a very strong services business, uh, which has grown out of Bangalore, and they've grown billion dollar companies and much bigger out of Bangalore, but we also have the R&D companies that have come from around the world to Bangalore to set up. We've got engineering services companies that have come. So there's this fusion of large footprint companies that have come here that have helped us build some of the intellectual infrastructure, the middleware, the talent, and the confidence that you can go out there and build companies from Bangalore. And I think that's a fantastic fusion. Now we have entrepreneurial talent, thanks to both the government policies that we have in place, and I think the entrepreneurial spirit of the people, young people in particular, who want to build product companies out of here. And product, software product, guess what? It's going to be, everything is going to be a software product. I was with, let me tell you a short, very current story. Yesterday I hosted one of the world's experts in drone technology. And I told him, I'd like him to meet some of the startups we have in Bangalore, but I'm not quite sure where they will uh, kind of peg on the scale uh, in terms of depth of drone technology and all of that, right? So I told him, with some trepidation, let me set up a round table for you at the desktop startup warehouse. And we had an hour and a half discussion after his talk. His talk went for an hour and a half. And after that talk, we had another hour and a half round table with these startups. And at the end of that, as I was taking him to dinner, he said, Ravi, you know, we have got to create some kind of a joint collaboration in Karnataka. And, and I think Bangalore is the place to do it. Because what I saw at that round table, the questions I got at the talk were, the world is flat in drone technology too. He says, they were as good as anything I would have had, any discussion that I had, any debate that I had anywhere in the world. So that's in a deep tech area. So that's the opportunity in my mind, is to build the next set of deep technologies, to build product that is a combination of hardware, software, analytics, and, you know, value-added services of various kinds. It's going to be a combination of these things that will deliver brilliant experiences that consumers will want to buy into. Nobody's going to just buy a piece of hardware. Nobody's just going to buy a piece of downloaded software. What is Ola? What is Uber? They're experiences. What are you selling in the future? It's experiences enabled by software, enabled by sensors, enabled by devices, enabled by analytics, enabled by big data at the back end, enabled by infrastructure, enabled by payments, enabled by identity. That's what we've got to mash together to build an experience that is un unbelievable and delightful. Why does it have to be unbelievable and delightful? Because you're one click away from being abandoned today, in today's world. Your customer will abandon you if it's not perfect. In just a single click, they can go to another experience. And so that's the opportunity we need to fix, and we need to kind of focus on here in Karnataka to be able to win, and here in India to be able to win on the global stage. And I think that's where we at NASCOM are focused on bringing together and nurturing and enabling an environment that will allow that to happen. To be able to bring together, we have at the Nestron Startup Warehouse, the, the, the Center of Excellence for IoT. We are building, as Mr. Karge said, a series of other centers of excellences in many areas. We have in India, in Bangalore in particular, a very vibrant uh, SaaS cloud product ecosystem. We now need to bring all of these things together. We need to add the hardware element. We need to add the other elements that will make for a great experience in the future. One of the areas that, and I'll just 
expose you in like, I, I, I have a very big uh, speaking slot here, so let me just expose you to one, uh, one, one new area we are, we are pushing on, and this is the design aspect. If you're going to build anything disruptive in the future, the design of that product, that offering, that experience has to be world class. You cannot have any raw edges on it. It has to be delightful, like I said earlier, out of the box, because you again, one click away from being abandoned. There are going to be choices. People can discover products from everywhere. Best of breed product is available to everybody with a single search of their smartphone today. They know what to buy. They know what to adopt. They know what to consume. And so design that out-of-box experience is more important than ever. And so we at Nashcom uh, are taking the initiative here to really launch what we call design for India. And what is this? It's about making sure that our product companies don't just build great code on the back end, that they don't just build good hardware, that they just don't try and put that together in a way that's not very pleasing to the end user, but bring together something that is awesome. And that requires design. And it's not just about the pixels, it's not just about the buttons or the colors, it's about the experience. It's the consumer or the customer experience. And that's a holistic view we want to take. And so, I, I just wanted to throw this out there for your, uh, for your, for your consumption is, please focus on this going forward. While you may have all the other skills, this is one area where we really need to up level. And so we're putting together this ecosystem across all our warehouses, across the whole nation over the next year and two. And so basically we build capacity, build skills, build best practices to showcase those that are doing the right thing uh, and to champion this cause. So I end there. Thank you very much. And I look forward to interacting with some of you all at the warehouse. We've got, uh, with, the, with the support of the government of Karnataka, and I want to thank Mr. Karge and his team uh, for supporting the startup warehouse, starting, for supporting the startup ecosystem so vigorously. I have not met, and I've, I've interacted with a few uh, government departments across many states, but very accessible, very open, and very, very transparent in their actions here in terms of being able to support startup ecosystem and startups themselves. Mr. Garnier himself has an open house once a month where he meets startups for, and it, it actually went for three hours the last time we, had, we hosted it. And all the startups can apply and we shortlist uh, as many as we as time to accommodate and they can come out and meet him. And he's acted on many of the suggestions they have. So thank you so for that and we look forward to collaborating further downstream. Thank you.